Ooh, do you like that sound? That's a good sound. Got a wide angle if you wanted a wide angle, but that would take you a lot more in. So I think this is fine. Yeah. Anyway, are you rec he recorded already, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm here with the six x nine Fuji medium format camera GSW six nine three. I've been inspired by other YouTubers out there to shoot some 35mm on this. So I'm going to go ahead and pop some in. I've got with me today some beautiful Ilford HP5 and these wonderful things you can get from Analog Wonderland. These are uh, little easels that you can put inside into the thing and then you can lock in your film fine. And you'll need a spool as well which you can tape your other hand the other bit of your film onto as well and that's gone flying off somewhere else cheers mate anyway we are in casa del lucas today here we go here we go here we go we go with the fuji we just pop those open yep pop this in here close that like so and then i've got some wonderful tape here ready it's beautiful fluorescent tape and all we need to do is make sure that it is completely and firmly stuck to this spool. Now after you've shot the roll you can then have to take this out in a dark bag so make sure you have one at home if not you can probably need to take it to uh, somewhere where you're gonna get it done now. I do need a toothpick at this point. This is going to be very, very useful because we can just pop this on the side down here. That's a bit too long. So let's just reduce this in size a little bit. Pop that in there. Now that will make the ease of this to flow over the film, right? Otherwise, it will get for some reason it gets stuck on that side so that will make the flow really easy and then we can go ahead and pop this in here and lock this in and there we have it that is your film loaded up so there we go we can go ahead and shoot with this in that now I reckon we're probably going to get about 16 frames per roll and obviously you've lost the first few from this but whatever you do at the end don't just open the back. The other thing you want to do is slide this bit here let's turn that over this bit here to move it to 1 220 so hopefully that We'll lock in place. Oop. All we do is just turn that over and then pop this back in. So it should say 220 on here. Boom. Then we can just go ahead and close the lid. Now the other thing you'll have to do is at the top here, you'll have to turn this to 16 exposures. Now I've lost a little button that used to go here. However, I have twisted this so that it points towards it. Hopefully that will remain exactly where it is for the rest of the day. And then keep scrolling until you get to one. There you go. We're up onto our first frame. Going to go out and shoot in this urban landscape, which we've never been to before. The other thing you'll need to do for this is because this is you looking through here, this is not going to be a true representation of shooting with a landscape format. So we're going to have to put, pop something on here, which we'll do right now. I've uh, basically made up a little view thing here. It's been cut from a little piece of uh, cardboard so that when I look through the camera itself, I'm actually seeing the outline of the entire frame on 35 millimeter. I'm not sure how accurate it's going to be, but uh, we're going to find out today for sure. Shooting with this uh, Nikon point and shoot today. 
and it is a L35 AF2. Simple point and shoot. I'm just curious to see how this will work. And the film of choice is going to be Hilford XV2 Super. Thanks for the drum roll. This is a very reliable film. I really love using it. I love the grain on it and I love how the images come out in black and white. So I'm really looking forward to see how this turns out. So let's load this, uh, this baby up. super windy here it is insane how windy and blustery it is in this area but it's pretty amazing because we found this little spot here inside and the surrounding as well you've got the beautiful view of the bridge and along here there's some wonderful scenic views that you can get as well so really looking forward to snapping away here trying to get some nice little landscapes trying to use the light and the shadows from the side and then get these shots on point so I'm gonna crack on and uh, shoot some more loving shooting with this little thing it's really handy really simple to take out your pocket and start shooting with it right away so I'm gonna go ahead take a few more snaps in this area gosh it is so windy here but plenty of light and uh, plenty of opportunities also for some reason there's a random broom here too, so maybe I'll get some sweep shots as well. Okay, so I'm going to try to get this entire frame in here. The sun's coming right through from the top left hand side, but I'm not sure if it will be overexposed from that. I don't have a major lens hood on this thing, so it'll be a bit tricky to get this all perfectly framed. Uh, with that in mind but get this shot here of this entire frame here but also one directly on the inside too so let's see how we crack on with that <laughs> I'm gonna walk off the edge.
No, I think we're good. He's trying to get a close up of my nose. <laughs> cool. find in uh, little spots and spaces. So there's a really nice frame just here. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot through this as well as on this side as well. So let's see if we can get this entire frame in to the uh, 35 millimeter on the Fuji that we've got over here. So let's uh, get this ready. Check everything. Oh my goodness.
super windy in here. It's nuts. You want to talk to me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, <it's good> <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so Finish the roll, 36 exposures. All you have to do when you're taking it out is push this button down here, press the two button, and you pull this across. So you push this down, hold it there, and pull this across, and then you'll be set, and you can take out your film. So it's rewound now. It takes about 30 seconds to rewind back. Pop this open. And, oh, there we go, and it's all done. Take this out, close the lid, and voila, that's the roll done. That was me. You feel uncomfortable. What? What makes you feel uncomfortable? No, it does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is definitely a restricted area. Well, oh, let's see if I can get a shot of this. Actually, oh, the sun is strong. Down here, this is a pretty funky little spot. I wonder if there used to be an actual rail that went along here. Must have been. These are rails, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, we might have a jam. Oh dear. What do we do now? Yeah, I might have to. All right, so <laughs> it's, it jammed. It it jarred completely. So I think that the solution, after opening and losing a couple of frames, open up the back here, the battery compartment, and then when we closed it. But it seems to be working fine. So I've lost a couple of frames. I'm going to shoot a couple more. So probably be some double exposures or something like that. Actually, no, there won't be because I've lost the frames. So it'll be blank, and then we'll start getting some frames again. So all good. Let's snap away and see what happens. So last time it was left on 16. So we're on 17 now, I think. Um, let's see what we get. Foliage in the foreground. Okay, I think maybe try not to fall through the cracks here. Eh? 
I love the, the wood slats and the, the rails that go through here. It's really, really cool. Really, really cool. Okay. All right, let's not fall through there. Come back on the cement. Maria Grazia Honorato. I do like this camera right here, it's super cool. I think sometimes you just need to sit down and just appreciate what's around you. It doesn't have to be much. Really enjoyed today's shoot, getting out. Good to get my photography legs back on again. <laughs> it's just a box. Is it heavy? Is it fish? Huh? There's rat or something. Yeah. <laughs> that could have been the fight of the century. <laughs> no? Oh, come on, you're just sitting here and there's an iPhone. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure. I mean, it's not that it would work anyway. 